Hello everybody. It's January 2021. I can hardly believe I'm saying this. So it's really with great joy that I'm here at the beginning of a whole new year uh, to tune in with the angels and to ask them for some guidance for us for the month ahead. But as you know, um, I also offer personalized readings which are very beneficial for many people. And when I do a personalized reading, I also offer some healing because I connect my heart to your heart to, at the beginning of the reading and for the duration of the reading, I ask the flow of energy from the angels to bring their healing love through me for you. So if you feel like a reading, please connect with me. You can check it out on my website, www.lightingtheway.ie. Or you can send me a private message. But for now, I'm here to see what the angels have in store for us for January. And I really feel that before I even came on live, I was sitting talking to the angels that there's something very, very, very special about this whole period of time. And I'm not just talking about January, I'm talking about the next couple of years, really, that we are in a a really big transition and a lot of the shadow is showing itself to all of us in our lives and I don't think there's anybody on planet Earth that hasn't been shown something in 2020 or even a few years coming up to 2020 because the shift has happened and you know we peaked in 2020 but more and more people are becoming more and more aware but there's still, you know, a lot of heart opening to happen. And the angels are really showing me that um, it's very important for us to stay grounded in the heart energy and to really operate from that place of compassion and love and uh, offering the love from us to everybody, really, especially people that, you know, we meet in our surroundings or if you're in the supermarket or you're in the schoolyard or whatever. And, Somebody looks really caught up in the whole narrative of fear. Um, that you just send them some love and just with intention of helping them to feel the love that's within their heart. Um, it would be really beneficial. It's small things that add up to really great things in our lives. And so as I'm here, the angels are saying to me, we'll take two cards for the month of January. But they want me to just take one card for each month of the year in 2021. And some people, even when they come to me for angel card readings, they like a 12 month reading in January. And it's a, a little indicator of what to look out for in each month of the year ahead. But for now, I'll come back to this general reading. I actually see an image of somebody just walking forward and just literally taking strides. So that's a big indicator for us is, you know, to keep going forward. So I have two cards for January. I still see that image. So there's two for January. I'm just going to leave them all there for a minute. And then I'm going to take one for February, March, April, May, June. Okay, so a battery as well so we need to recharge since February even though we think we've had March and there's April as two cards even though we think we've had lots of time to recharge a lot of us have been you know absorbed and pulled into the fears and the dramas so it's time for us to actually rise above that now it's May and June and July, I'll just take August and then I'll reshuffle. And show me August, please. Okay, so August seems to be a, a kind of a challenging month. August. Okay, September, October, November, December. So I need four more cards now, please. I'm seeing the battery again, so we really do need to charge. September, and there's October, November, and one final card now. For December, imagine I'm going ahead to December of this year, but let's see what they're on. That's very much December, okay? So we're going to start with January and see what the angels have to say. 
So it really is time for us to nurture our soulful relationships and to think about the children, to really, really think about the children. So when I see these two cards here coming together now for January, it's a lot of communication, there's a lot of heart energy in it. So the soulmate relationship, so you know the soulmate, um, some people think that you know it's all joy and it's all bliss and you know we just ride off into the sunset with our soulmate. But soulmates are relationships that can sometimes be there uh, to just press our buttons and to show us uh, the way in, the way into our soul, the way to connect with our soul. And there's something that the angels asked me to share with everybody and I shared it about a week ago and it's just to ask ourselves every day, what does my soul want me to know today? So if you ask yourself that every day, you'll start getting information up from your soul but these are coming together in January. So all those soulful relationships, so some of them will be filled with great joy instantaneously and others will press our buttons. So somebody that's really fulfilling their soulful relationship, that contracts really, and the sacred contracts are starting to be fulfilled. There's probably another little bit of time in them, but they were not bound anymore to contracts that we agreed to way, way back. And the children is really really important so we need to consider that the children are our future so this month of january you know are we doing right by our children are we looking after the best interests of our children for their future and for future generations to come so it's really important that we think about the soul and the children for the month of january the month of February is going to offer you answered prayer. Okay, so there is a lot of intuition. There's a lot of heart energy in this card. So I'm just picking up information. So the month of January is where we're actually going to send a lot of our intentions out into the universe and out into the area where the angels are going to await our requests and come back to us and in February we will start to notice a lot of our prayers being answered. I'm not even sure if some of you that may be on here might have seen some of the pictures I posted last night and basically we lit our fire and two angel wings appeared first and then it seemed to burn off and it looked like a forest actually, a, a pine forest and then lo and behold a whole host of angels uh, appeared in the fire now I took some photographs and definitely angel Ariel was one of them and it was the male aspect of Ariel with the fire burning up and I've posted some stuff on um, my Facebook page and I will need to post something in my blog and on my website but the angels are here and they're answering our prayers so in February you will notice that your prayers have been answered March then is a harmonious month, so the main energy for the month of March, and I'm talking about collectively now, this is a generalized reading, so there will be more harmony in March. And then April, March as well is really about dancing to your own tune. Um, they're saying to me, don't stop with March yet. And so I'm, I'm looking out at the fields and the fields that are in front of me here usually have the little lambs dancing around and things, but they're saying, that it's really important for us to bring some joy back into our lives in the month of March and to make sure that we're dancing to our own tune and not to the tune and to the demands and the requests of others. That doesn't mean you're just going to just blankly walk all over people, but it does mean that you're going to take back your power and you're going to start dancing to your own tune. So just notice what's happening in March for you. April, as I said, was going to be a big month. So these are the two cards that the angels have given me to work with here to bring through some of their messages. So they're telling us that there's another opportunity for us. So it's like another wave uh, to surrender, to really surrender, because our egos are just being pulled and shoved and we're hanging on, you know, and it's to surrender again to the angels because once you surrender it, and there's a lot of emotion outpouring in April, there's time for celebration and the celebration you can see in this picture I'm picking up a lot of things but it's like the energy of the moon it's like that feminine fluid strong gravitational energy and that's the celebration but that's what it'll take for you to let it go and just to surrender it's in the you know that is not a disempowering thing that's actually so empowering 
that you're no longer clinging so tightly that you just let yourself go and go with the flow of the universal energy the energy of love the energy of compassion the energy of joy and then we're here for May so in May we're going to realize that it's a month about trust trusting your gut trusting your inner ding again there's a lot of emotion but it's quite soft so May is really where we look at where we're not trusting uh, this is mainly about trusting ourselves trusting our own decisions and yeah they're just saying that it's the greater trust it's like that massive trust you know when you breathe out and you let go of your breath and you trust there's another breath there for you to breathe back in it's at that depth okay so it's a gentle month a lot of communication in it a lot of heart energy again but you know your third eye energy where you're clearing distrust is also in there whoa upside down we're into june we've archangel michael so michael always comes in you know to help us to protect ourselves and to cut away all unhealthy situations all cards really from people places situations settings things but michael also is now helping us to expand our auric field and to fill it with light and he has shown me this now for i don't know about a year but it's been very very strong of late so when i see michael now i ask you know what's the main message and his main message is he said he's actually like sticking his sword in the ground and he's like taking a stand and it's like okay so it's t it's actually time now for you to actually rise above this nonsense and stop getting pulled in and really start working from your soul and he just has the sword just stuck in the ground so it's like now is the time so there you are there's june it's a really strong month and then what will follow from that is great spiritual growth in july so july is the month for us to really start uh, understanding more about our expansion and us as a spiritual being yeah we're having the human experience the human being and we're very privileged to be here on earth like tomorrow isn't guaranteed you know so we really need to understand that our soul really needs to live each day fully and from the soul august Ooh, what have we got to forgive so august is another month for going inside for clearing out the shadow for really getting ourselves into that space where we can feel the joy and we can feel free so i forgive you and i set myself free so don't be worrying about who you have to forgive or what you have to forgive just do it and september you will notice yourself emerging you're emerging as a whole new being really feeling your light and understanding yourself as a divine loving being so that's september and then we have october we have the miracles so in october you just look out for all those miracles that are going to show up in your life because life is really a complete miracle when we actually think about it it's miraculous we don't even know really how we started our journey here on life how we go to sleep at night and wake up in the morning there are so many miracles in our everyday life and we're actually being shown that and then we're coming to the month of November where we're going to feel the support. We're going to feel the universal support. We're going to understand ourselves as beings that are here on earth, but we have the support of the whole universe. So we have our guides, we have our loved ones, we have the angels, we have the galactic support. So we have the support and we're going to know it in the month of November. And then in the month of December, and this was the card that was starting evading me, it's like a whole new beginning. So once 2021 is moving through, the month of December is where we are really going to start to have a complete fresh beginning. Now, that is some reading. So that's just a snippet really for each month. And I'm just going to ask for one Archangel card that's going to help us through the whole year. Okay, just one card and then a card for the children. 
Okay, so we've Haniel. So it's moon cycles. Okay, so it is that gravitational pull. Haniel, notice how the energy of the moon affects your energy and your manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. So it's a creative, feminine, fluid, strong energy. So if you think of all of the cycles of life and you think of how the moon even affects the tides, it affects so many cycles, the female cycle, you think about the amount of water that's in your body and the gravitational pull and the health that's there for you. So notice the moon cycles and capitalize upon them and call Haniel in for the year. Ask Angel Haniel to be with you and to help you. I'm looking at the two decks of cards for our kids. So again, I'm just going to take one. Yeah, this is it for the children. We just take the month of January. Smile. When you smile at someone, your angel smiles at you. Say to yourself, I feel good when I smile. And that again is like raising the vibration, like when we're in a supermarket or wherever, uh, that we just smile at somebody that may be feeling sad. So when the angels see a smile, they're actually going to smile back at us. So they're sending us more joy, more love, more help to be able to smile more often. And just use it because, you know, a smile starts a laugh, you know, and smiling is contagious. What is that saying when someone smiled at you today? I can't remember it, but it's something like uh, you catch it like the flu. We don't want to hear about flus, really, do we? We do want to hear about the smiles, though. So, okay, so these are another uh, deck of angel cards. My angel and I are enjoying the flowers and the butterflies. I love being outdoors. So again, it's get those kids outdoors, okay? I know we're on lockdown, where we are here in Ireland, I think most of the world is on lockdown, but there's no reason why we couldn't take the kids outdoors and let them enjoy the healing benefits of beautiful mother nature. And of course the butterflies are for transformation. So explaining little things to the children when we're outdoors with them. I won't be seeing my grandchildren now at the moment, but I did get to see them at Christmas time. And we did get outdoors and just to be able to explain different little things about the buds on the trees and the birds overhead. We have red kites here overhead and just to be able to explain, you know, when they rise above, they literally float, they rise above it all and they float in the thermal waves. And I was looking at that as an analogy for life, which is really beautiful. So now I'm going to love you and leave you at that for today. So that's just a quick snippet for the year ahead and I'll be back in February to do a reading for February and if you feel like a personalized full hour reading for yourself please con connect with me so you can book it on my website or you can send me a message thank you god bless you